Hello everyone, myself Prasad Pradeep Kulkarni, working as an assistant professor in the Department of Electrical Engineering, KIT's College of Engineering, Autonomous Kolhapur. Today, we are going to see the introduction to power electronics. In that, we will going to learn definition, conversion methods, what are the controlled and uncontrolled devices, what are the advantages, disadvantages of power electronic devices and application. So, let us start the session with the objectives of the course. The basic objective of this course is to impart knowledge on the following topics which are introduction to different types of semiconductor devices, operation and characteristics of different semiconductor devices, various switching methods or techniques used in converters, various modulation techniques used in inverters. So, basically we are going to study about rectifiers, controlled rectifiers, uncontrolled rectifiers, then cycloconverters, choppers and inverters. So, what are these different devices that we are going to see in the next few minutes. So, prerequisites for this course are the students should have a basic knowledge of analog electronics and basic knowledge of mathematics is required. The outline of unit 1 goes like this. First, we are going to see the definition, the various conversion methods, the semiconductor devices, advantages, disadvantages and applications. What is power electronics? The basic definition of power electronics is that it is a branch of electrical engineering which deals with conversion and control of electrical power. So, power electronics deals with control as well as the conversion of electrical power. So, control refers to we can increase the or decrease the electrical power as per our requirement and conversion here means we can convert the electrical power which is in the form of AC into a DC form or vice versa or DC level of one voltage level into converted to another DC voltage level or DC can be converted to AC with the help of inverters. So, the different conversion methods used in power electronics are the AC to DC conversion which are called as a rectifiers. So, in rectifiers there will be two types, one is uncontrolled rectifiers and controlled rectifiers. Second method is AC to AC conversion with the help of cyclo converters and AC voltage controllers we can achieve this AC to AC conversion. So, basically cyclo converters deals with increase or decrease in the frequency levels by keeping the voltage constant. So, we know that frequency control methods are used in cyclo converters. AC voltage controllers are the devices which are used to increase or decrease the voltage level as per our requirement by keeping the frequency constant. DC to DC conversion is the third type which are basically named as choppers. So, choppers are the circuits which are used to increase or decrease the voltage levels. Fourth control method is DC to AC conversion which are called as inverters. So, inverters are the devices which converts DC supply into variable AC supply. This 
we might be knowing that we will use these circuits in our home. What are semiconductor devices? So, semiconductor devices or a semiconductor has a property of conductor as well as insulators. Semiconductors acts as a conductor at higher temperatures and the semiconductor behaves as an insulator at room temperature. In order to give some conducting property to the semiconductor, impurities are added for the pure semiconductor. So, whenever we add a trivalent impurities to the pure semiconductor, P type semiconductor is formed. And when we add a pentavalent impurity to the pure semiconductor, N type semiconductor is formed. So, as we know that P type semiconductor are having a majority charge carriers as holes and N type semiconductors are having the majority charge carriers as electrons. Holes are positively charged particles and electrons are negatively charged particles. So, how we combine this P and N in a various manner results into different types of devices like diode. Diode is a two terminal device which is made up of one P type and one N type semiconductor device. So, when we combine one P and one N to with each other, then the diode is formed. It is also called as a PN junction device. Similarly, DIAC. DIAC is a two-way conducting diode. Likewise, we have a different devices like SCR. SCR is a silicon controlled rectifier. MOSFET. MOSFET is a metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor. IGBT. Gate insulated bipolar junction transistor. TRIAC is a two-way conducting SCR. GTO. Gate turn off thyristors. So, these various types of devices are categorized into two types that is uncontrolled devices and controlled devices. Uncontrolled device meaning is we cannot control the output voltage and controlled semiconductor devices are the devices through which we can control the output voltage. So, DIAC and diode both are comes under the category of uncontrolled devices. SCR, MOSFET, IGBT, TRIAC and GTO, these devices comes under the category of controlled semiconductor devices. We will see the advantages and disadvantages of power semiconductor devices. The advantages goes like this. The power semiconductor devices have longer life and these are reliable. The semiconductor devices have a higher efficiency and also the semiconductor devices have fast dynamic response. Fast dynamic response here refers to response of the semiconductor devices for change in output. The disadvantages of power semiconductor devices are whenever these uh, devices operate, these generates higher level of harmonics because of switching. In order to convert a DC voltage level into AC or to convert AC voltage level into DC, the switching of power semiconductor devices will be done. So, these switching results into generation of harmonics. Also, conversion of supply leads to low power factor. So, disadvantage of low power factor is the load starts drawing or the circuit starts drawing large amount of current from the source. So, as the current drawn by the source is of higher level, we have to pay more electricity bill for a same load. So, 
this power factor can be improved with the help of capacitor. So, we if we connect a capacitor in parallel with the circuit, so the capacitor acts as a power factor improvement device. The harmonics generated during switching can be eliminated by connecting tuned filters. Tuned filter consists of inductors and capacitors. The applications of power semiconductor devices or power electronics are we are using in our day to day life the different power semiconductor devices in various forms such as fan regulator, air conditioning, induction cooking, emergency lights or dimmers, vacuum cleaners, personal computers, UPS that is uninterruptible power supply and battery chargers. Thank you everyone.